It's the supernatural ghost hunting series taking Netflix by storm. We'll be joined by the stars of the hit show Lockwood & Co. That's right after the break. Welcome back with reports that one in four people are struggling to get a GP appointment. Dr Nigat will be here to answer your questions. Before that, it's the Supernatural series that's currently one of the most watched shows on Netflix. Lockwood & Co follows three teenagers as they join forces to fight the deadly spirits haunting London. Well, we're speaking to the stars of the show in just a moment, but first, uh, let's do a... Are you all right, Liz? <laughs> yep, let's <laughs> do it. Let's do a little bit of ghost hunting. Name? Lucy Carlyle. I'm Anthony Lockwood. This is George. Welcome to Lockwood & Co. How about we find ourselves a ghost? Don't move. Run! Lockwood! London will be a lot safer with three less amateurs stumbling around. The big agencies pretend they've got things under control. So, what now? All it takes is a few big cases. Solve this. We'll be the most famous agents in the country. I'm working with maniacs. Oh. Well, the stars of the show, Ruby Stokes, Cameron Chapman okay. and Ali Haji Hashbati. Join us now. It's lovely to see you. Welcome, so welcome, so welcome. we've already Thank discussed you. a little bit of the conversation <laughs> that we were both having um, yeah. uh, last night. Uh, I sent the, 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 the ghost on the stairs to Holly and said, this is the sort of thing that it's going to be if you want to watch it. And the, re the reaction was not good <laughs> coming back. And then I said, when I was briefing Holly this morning, I suddenly realised how much happened. Yeah. I watched two and a half episodes, and I will finish it. Um, how much happened? So it starts off with the problem, which your character actually is obsessed with. Yeah. Um, and this is a worldwide issue where suddenly um, ghosts manifest themselves and they are deadly... Uh, that's why there are curfews and they can only really be seen and treated by teenagers. Pick it up from there. Yeah, yeah I think the, the difference in, that Joe Cornish has sort of said is that in our show, you know, if you touch a ghost, it can kill you. Um, and because, you know, it's a parallel world to today and because of this problem, you know, technology has stopped advancing um, and there are young adults who we three play um, yeah. who can see, hear and feel ghosts um, and, you know, it's an action sort of adventure story, but at the helm of it is, it's incredibly character-led. It's a character full of heart and character relationships and yeah. dynamics. So just to explain who your character is, because he's kind of sort of the linchpin in all of this in a way, because it's a bit of a David and Goliath situation, is that you've yeah. got these huge agencies and then you've got his one. Yes. So he's... Um, so the, it was about 50 years ago that the ghost problem started worldwide. Mm. And uh, a lot of adults decided, look, the kids are the ones that can see them and, and fight them off. Mm -hmm. So they created these agencies. And uh, my character, Anthony Lockwood, has his own. And it is the only one that is run by a teenager, mm -hmm. essentially. No, only... adult yeah, no, no adult No adult supervisors, yeah. exactly. And uh, with his trusty colleague, George Kareem, <laughs> played by Ali. Um, and then Lucy Carlyle comes and joins the agents. Well, he, uh, I'm absolutely right in saying that, you know, he is one of, he's one of those people that you uh, are great in your life because they are always the ones that say, don't worry, I'll fix this, it's fine, it's fine. But he's actually quite reckless. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. He was a lot of fun to play. Yeah. Um, he's very funny, I think, but some people and he has And he funny. has also a mysterious past we don't really yes. know very much about. Uh, yes. But we will find out about that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Or do we We've got to potentially, keep potentially not? Potentially. Yeah. Um, and then we've got your character. Now, he's described as a bit of an eccentric centric genius. He's mm. funny, but there is also elements, like with all of them, sort of this sort of darkness there too. Yeah, as the series goes on, yeah. you see the dark side of his character, which I think is really interesting. But in the role, in, his role in the house is the head chef and the researcher. And I think he has a lot of joy in doing that. Yeah. But also, yeah. he's um, he, he, social situations he struggles with a wee bit. Yeah, <laughs> similar to me. He he's very socially unaware about kind of the social normality. Yeah. Well, finding finding you fully clothed in the bath with your head on the yes, water. Yes. Yeah. He's a bit alarmed by that. Like, what are you doing? Like, I need the loo. Yeah. <laughs> um, what's lovely about it is that actually the ultimate message is young people can do 
anything, isn't it? And that's always a very empowering thing. Yeah, I think I think that's one of the things that drew me to the role, especially that it's like, you know, we later to learn for my character, Lucy, she's sort of, you know, leading this charge against a ghost. She finds out that her talent, you know, that she has is so much more powerful than her peers. And it's like, it's that, you know, she's unapologetically mm -hmm. herself and what is, I think is brilliant about it is hopefully it resonates to young, connects to young people that it's like, it's cool to be an individual, it's powerful mm -hmm. to be unique. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, uh, this is your first first role, isn't it? Yes, it is. Straight, I got the audition well, from drama school. Thank so you. What a role. Yeah. And it's, it, it always makes me laugh, and we've talked about this with actors over the years, that they most of them put on their CV, they, they can horse ride, and they're yeah. good at sword fighting. Uh, yeah. And they probably never got on a horse, and they've never picked up a sword, <laughs> but they put it on there anyway, think, if I'm, if, if I'm ever asked for it, then I'll, I'll, I'll learn it quickly. Yeah. You have it already. <laughs> so because one of the yeah. weapons of choice against these killer ghosts is, is the iron sword. Yeah, mm. so the, the idea is that metal is, is the sort of um, what repels, what the, repels ghosts. the ghosts. Yeah. So that's why instead of guns and stuff, it's swords um, and lots of cool other devices that they use. But learning sword fighting was amazing. It was so yeah, fun. It was, fun. It's, it was yeah, terrifying really and fun, exciting yeah. in equal measure. Um, but we had a great stunt. How long were you? Uh, how long were you working on the sword play? Well, I'd say we did like a month and a half of sort of getting into the physical language of the show, and we got to like you know learn like the basics of sword fighting, and then like only built it up as well. Yeah. But it was it was pretty incredible. I mean, I can't yeah. say now, I could, like, <laughs> you know, I could uh, fight you, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think you probably could. <laughs> <laughs> and what's lovely about it is that it's been a great success. And Ali, I think it's number one on Netflix at the moment, and I think Rotten Tomatoes it seems to be very brutal. To everybody gave it 90%. So well, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it's brilliant. I mean, Ruby mentioned it being obviously having the appeal for young people, but yeah. I think because the stakes are so real and mm. every night these people are fighting to survive, yeah. Yeah. hopefully it's a show for everyone, mm. whether you're young or you have you're a parent and can watch it with your kids yeah. or even someone around our age, hopefully. Yeah. There it are was, elements of it. Uh, it must have been great fun for the three of you. I mean, you are very close together from the first audition when you when you walk yeah. in there and you're essentially, you know, asking for asking for a job. Um, <laughs> yeah. the, the, uh, the, from that moment on, you're pretty much all three of you together, aren't you? It's very close. Yeah, we kind of... I think, you know, the, the first time we all sort of were in the room together and we did, like, you know, what they call a chemistry with an audition, we all just, like... We just had a shorthand, like, straight away. We're super comfortable with each other and then, obviously, that only progressed as we, you know, ended up... Yeah. Filming more Getting and more and more, yeah. And you just think very lovely. You made a memory album for <laughs> yes, them. Yes, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. I think I got their like names and Lockwood and Co like stamped into an album. And I just, I like, you know, it was such a long shoot that you walk on set and you walk off and you forget what you've done almost. Yeah. And I just, I took like so many photos. I just wanted to document it. And three thousand. Yeah, like over three. <laughs> yeah, like over three thousand. I mean, some, half of them are probably blurry, but um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I such up a nice with, thing to do. In the yeah. there. So, depending on how successful it is, and I, obviously, I, I will know probably in the next couple of days how it finishes this se season. To be number one on Netflix, surely you're pretty secure for another run here. We're just. <laughs> we, I think, like like Ruby said, we worked on this for. It's been our baby for almost two years. Yeah. This thing. A little baby. Uh, yeah, a little <laughs> baby. So, right now, we're still very much focused on. Sharing it with everyone, and it's been it's been really nice doing. Good that. answer. Yeah. Do you like that? Do you like that? <laughs> we've had media training. Yeah, we've been media training. <laughs> <laughs> it's training there. It's all training and media yeah. training. Exactly. Well done. Yeah. Uh, it's on Netflix right now. Uh, series one. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Thank, 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 thank you very much. Right in just a moment, Dr. Nigat will be joining us in the studio to answer your health questions. That's right after this.